There are books that shape us, guide us, and ultimately define us. They provide us with insights into human behavior, motivate us to push through challenging times, and inspire us to grow into better versions of ourselves. The following seven books fall into these categories, and that's why they are a must-read before you die. And uh, welcome to this channel today. Let's talk about the seven books to read before you die. And these are interesting books that you will find uh, helpful in your journey. If you are new to this, just why don't you subscribe? Why don't you like our channel? And uh, let's keep moving. So the first book we want to talk about is, is by James Allen. And it says, As a Man Thinketh. So this is a great book. And now uh, you realize that Allen, through his work, has been instrumental in inspiring millions to realize the power of their thoughts. The book operates on the premise that a man is the product of his thoughts. What he thinks, he becomes. As a man thinker, it's a call to introspection, a guide to cultivating healthier thoughts, and ultimately, a roadmap to a success and fulfilling life. So this is a great book. This is an inspiring book. And uh, since we started growing and uh, learning how to read books and know books, these were some of the books that were recommended to read. And this book has personally helped me a lot after reading it. It tells you, it gives you a meaning and you create more opportunities to be able to do more with your life. So the second book we're going to talk about today is it's a manhood in the making and the cultural concepts of masculinity, David D. Gilmore. So this is a book by David D. Gilmore. Uh, you get to learn more about him. This anthropological journey across cultures and through time examines the societal construction of masculinity. Manhood in the making is an exploration of manhood as an achieved status, one that is painstakingly difficult to reach and fraught with danger, yet universally recognized across cultures. And this is a great book, and uh, to me, if you get this book and you read this, it's going to help you a lot. So the third book I will talk about is Endurance, and that's Shackles, Shackleton's Incredible Voyage. So, and uh, this is a book that the name itself talks about why you need to have this book. So it's by Alfred Lanson. And uh, based on the true story of explorer N.S. Shackleton's survival against all odds in the Antarctic wildness. Endurance is an unforgettable portrayal of the resilience and determination of the human spirit. This gripping account serves as a timeless reminder that no matter how dire the situation, hope and persistence can carry us through. And uh, you realize that, yes, this world, we all need to be hopeful. If you have the hope and you persist, you will be able to go through. This is a must read. This is a must listen to. And I love to listen to the books through the audio versions. So I'll show you where you to get free all these books for free in the audio versions. But you, if you want to get the paper back, definitely you have to put in some investment. So let's go to the next book is The War of Art. And it says, break through the blocks and win your inner creative battles. And this is a book by Stephen Pressfield, a vital gem, kicking the ass. And uh, you will get to appreciate that there are two books. We have The Art of War. And this, this book is The War of Art. It's The War of Art. And that is why you need to get this book and, uh, by Stephen Pressfield. So this book is a must read for anyone seeking to unlock their creative potential. Pressful uses the concept of res resistance to describe the universal force that keeps us from achieving our creative and productive capabilities. He provides practical advice on how to overcome this resistance and unleash the artist within. And unleash the artist within. So this is a must-have book. Uh, you must read this book to understand it and to be able to build in that persistence nerve to do more. So the next book we talk about is Meditations by Marcus Aurelius. Now this is a great book too that's in your catalog. You need to have this book. Meditations is a collection of personal writings. So this is a collection of writings by Marcus 
the Roman Empire from 161 to 180 AD. It provides insights into strike philosophy, focusing on accepting things we can't control, recognizing the transcendent nature of life, and finding contentment in simplicity. This timeless classic encourages introspection and the pursuit of virtue. So you need to get this book also to be able to add to your collections. And uh, the next book is Wild at Heart, John Eldridge. Eldridge works serve as a spiritual guide for men searching for a deeper understanding of their masculine self. It delves into the male psyche, psyche and calls out to the wild nature inherent in men, suggesting that true masculinity is not about being nice, but about facing challenges and adventures, adventures head on. And uh, you need to also get this book. Other book I want to recommend is Sovereignty, The Battle for the Hearts and Minds of Men. Ryam Mishla. So this is a great book also. That uh, you need to also add this to your library and read this before you leave this up. Uh, sovereignty is a powerful book for men striving for personal sovereignty, the ultimate form of ownership over one's life. Mishla addresses the crisis of masculinity and provides a practical roadmap for men to regain control, harness their strength, and become fully functional and fulfill beans. So you will realize that each of these book has a place in this world and you can create more opportunities just by appreciating and doing more for yourself and for appreciating that yes, you can, with the little that you have, you can still do more. So each of these book holds a wealth of wisdom, offering different perspectives and lessons on life the true value of these works lies not just in reading them, but implementing their teachings in our daily lives. Make sure to add this to your reading list, for the, they might just change your life. So these are the books that you need to read. There's the seven books that you need to have in your catalog. You need to read before you leave this earth. I hope you learned something. There's going to be a, there are links in the description below. Seven of the links are links that you can read for free. Read any of this book for free. And also there's also some links that you can buy the paper back if you want to hold it physically. I am also a local reader sometimes, but I like to listen to some of this. Thank you for your time. Like this, subscribe to the channel, and also leave me a comment. Add your books in the description below. Thank you very much. I believe in you. I believe in the power of your dream. Let's go.